Hi guys, I'm Ozzy Villa. Welcome to episode 118 of Raise the Halt. And today we have two big games. First up, we host uh, Millwall in the AFL Cup third round with all our academy kids out on the pitch for that one. And then we host Arsenal, fourth in the league Arsenal, again at Villa Park and again, uh, well not again, but this time in the league. Um, now since last episode, we've had the two games. Uh, of course, we had a disappointing result to, uh, to Spurs in the last episode. But two games, two decent results. We've got our Champions League campaign, our defence underway against Ajax in Amsterdam. And you can see it was a good sort performance uh three goals Enrique Silla and an own goal um we scored they got one back and then Silla put us back in front before the break second half we just kind of saw it out to be honest we weren't as good as we could have been but you can see we had 13 shots on target to four um we definitely deserved to win that game so a good start to that campaign then we played Blackburn away from home um we were really, really good in the first half here. Rashid got a double, gave us a good lead uh, at going into the break. Second half, we were really poor, uh, to be honest. We kind of saw it out. We didn't really do much. They scored a goal from it. was a free kick, if I remember correctly, like a direct free kick. Um, you can see we deserved to win. They had more of the ball, but they didn't do that much with it. But yeah, it was a little bit, a little bit closer than it should have been, that one. Um, considering how the game had gone. Now, if we do have a quick glance at the league table, you can see we're still there. They're about uh, Liverpool uh, undefeated. They have six from six. Spurs did drop a game, though, that they draw. They drew West Brom. West Brom doing us favours. Um, so it's very, very tight at the top there. If we were to lose to Arsenal today, they would, they would go ahead of us as well. And you can see the Champions League group there. Atletico Madrid won their first game. You kind of expect that something like the group will finish. Um, but yeah, that's all for next episode. We'll deal with that. But let's go and have a look at what we're up against here against Millwall. Uh, and we will see where it is. What am I looking for here? Oh, it's going horribly, horribly wrong. Uh, there it is. Match preview. Scroll within as I click that many screens since it's on match preview. Um, we are the favorites of this one, as you would expect. They're in good form though, but they are a championship club. Um, so you would still expect us to get, I think they're a championship club. Yeah, they're winning the championship. So it's not going to be easy. Uh, that guy is their manager, Alan Chev. Uh, Dmitry Alan Chev. Do we know him from anywhere? Spartak Moscow. A bit of a Moscow or Russian uh, league person, it looks like. But they're attacking uh, standard playing style. If we look at the analysis report, 4-4-2. Um, we don't know if this is how they're going to play against us or not, of course. You can see they just kind of they're kind of spread out. Nothing special there. Passing network. No key passes. Let's have a look at the team. You did kind of see it there before. But this is the team that we're sending out now. Gaz is undisputed number one. So what we're going to do is we're going to give our backup, who is also a Portuguese international, we're going to give him a game here, give him a debut. Um, I want to try and keep him happy because he could be a really... He's only 19, so we could be... We could be on to a really, really good backup here. So I do want to try and keep him happy, keep him developing. So we're going to give him a start here. It's Casey back, Harry Thomas, Bergkamp the second, and Fiorini uh, as the back four. Bale and Hendry go in midfield. Nick Roberts, Paul Walker, and Blake Scully in behind Brian Carlos. Now, unfortunately, Gary Turpey's got a knock. Um... He's still six to twelve days away, as you can see. So he's not really he's not really available for this one. So sorry, Gary. We'll, hopefully, we'll get through. We'll put you in for the next round. Uh, and Gaz, I'm sure you'll understand because you play every week anyway. So they are somewhat packing their defence. It looks like so that's going to be a difficult one for us to to break down. But you get the feeling if we get a goal, um, it, we should be easy enough from there. Pick up where they left off. Uh, let's go a little bit of a passion. And all right, you're on a good run. Go out there and get the job done. Um, big game for Brian Carlos this one because he is not still happy with me. You can see his morale is through the floor. So hopefully we'll get a big performance from him here. Um, because he just, he, I think he just needs a couple of goals. Um, I mean, he hasn't, he's, not, he, he's really unhappy. And in hindsight, I should have just picked him in the Champions League squad because it would have been one less thing for him to be unhappy about. But I didn't and I can't go back and change it now. So we've just got to try and get him through this spell, get him happy again and again get him firing. Um, decent start here. We're dominating possession. We haven't really done anything with it, though, have we? We've, I mean, we've had shots, but no highlights as of yet, so they're obviously not quality shots. Um, what we are doing is... We're, are we exploiting the flanks? I can't even remember. No, let's maybe go and exploit the flanks. Um, because, they, you know, they've got that, a big block down the center of midfield, so I do wonder if, if we get down the sides, they just have their wing backs there. Ball in, it's headed away. Brian Carlos will retrieve it. Back for Baal. What's he going to do in for Brian Carlos? He crosses it. Nice ball there for David Bergkamp. Oh, what a finish by David Bergkamp. Is that his first for the club? I think it is. You don't save those. It's a wonderful goal by David Bergkamp, the second. And I don't know if it's his first goal for the club. It didn't say it was, so maybe it's not. But it's a stunning strike for a centre-back from the edge of the area. 
What a goal. On the, oh, I thought it was on the volley for a second then. But no, it's first. It's so one touch in the back of the net. Excellent stuff. Brian Carlos with an assist as well. Hopefully that'll help his match rating, help his confidence along. Let's demand a little bit more of that. And if we can get a second goal here, then it might just be game on for us in terms of goals. Might net Hendry back for ball. Back for Hendry. Nice ball out there for Fiorini. We don't have any sort of right back. Oh, it's there. It's Paul Walker. It's off the post. We really don't have any sort of right back depth, which is why Fiorini's playing this one. We don't. That's if you saw like why I was scrolling back through the under 23s and under 18s. I was looking for something that resembled a right back, <laughs> even just put on the bench to try and get somebody through. But if there's one thing we perhaps need to look to address in the transfer market, it might be a sort of a young third choice for now uh, right back because. If Fiorini or, or Kostic get injured, um, then the other one is sort of the sole right back. And then, you know, if, if they get injured or they get match fatigued or suspended or whatever could happen, um, we really would be up up the creek a little bit. Not, I mean, it's been a good first half, but we really didn't put it to bed, did we? So let's go maybe an assertive, don't get complacent voice. Um I mean, we haven't seen the, the goalkeeper yet, so I'm a little bit annoyed he's looking stressed out. Uh, we're happy with Bergkamp so far. Let's get back out there. Um, yeah, I mean, you'd, I'd really like a second goal here just to make sure that we're not going to get sucker punched or anything like that. Let's give it a... Oh, we'll wait for this highlight. Or maybe, maybe a show some passion. Casey Beck throws it in for Walker. In for Hendry. What's he going to do? Nice ball there for Fiorini. Fiorini brings it into the area. Oh, it's a save. Blake Scully with the rebound, though. Hey, hey. Blake Scully's first of the year. Fiorini went himself and, in the end, just about uh, did enough, didn't he? Just about did enough. The goalkeepers flapped at it. Uh, I'm not convinced he should have just been crossing at the first place because we did have men at the back post, but he's gone for goal. The goalkeeper's composed header, isn't it, from Blake Scully. Uh, really, really happy with that. Uh, that is that second goal that we wanted, and now it should be a case of just coasting to the finish line from here, I would hope. Um, next shout, we might give them some praise, because we are playing quite well. We're absolutely dominating the game. Um, just try and push them on a level here. Here goes Ball with the corner. It's there. Blake Scully can't quite get to it this time. Keeper makes a decent claim. Now, is that the highlight? Almost certainly not. What is going to happen from this? Goalkeeper stuffing around with it a little bit. Ball. Oh, what are we doing in defence? What are we doing in defence? Oh, good save in the second time of asking. What happened in our defence there? That was absolutely woeful. We'll give. I mean, we have to say concentrate after that, don't we? Because that was disgusting. We've all just stood there and looked at it. Has the goalkeeper called? But Bergkamp and Fiorini have both stood there and looked at it, and suddenly it's game back on again. Um. I, I do wonder, it looked as though the goalkeeper may have called for it, which is silly if he has done that. But, you know, what can you do now? It's done. Let's see if we can get a third, get our lead back. Nick Roberts is there. He can't win the header. Lee Hendry's going to pick that up. Out for Fiorini. Cross it, mate. He does get a decent ball in. Blake Scully's there. Brings it down really nicely. Paul Walker. Oh, it's gone in eventually. Brian Carlos gets the goal. But I tell you what, Paul Walker... What a save it was that he drew. I don't think the keeper knew anything about it, but it is good to see Brian Carlos get that goal. If there was one of our players here that needed the goal, it was definitely him. Um, try and boost that. Look at that. Oh, it's so unlucky for Paul Walker. It's a stunning volley straight at the keeper, unfortunately, and it just hit him. It hit him and fell to Brian Carlos, and he couldn't miss, could he? Um, so there we go. That's 3-1. That should hopefully now be us in the, in the hat for the next round. Uh, we've absolutely dominated the game. It shouldn't be as close as it is, but there we go. It's going to be, it looks as though it is almost, oh, wait, wait. Can we add one late? Where's Harry Thomas? Oh, Brian Carlos. No, it's headed away. There's the final whistle. There we go, boys. We are in the hat for the fourth round. Um, we got to, what, the semifinals, I think, last year, didn't we? So can we go maybe one or two steps better than that this year? That would be nice, wouldn't it? I will go with it a passionate, well done, boys. Um, that was a good performance. And that opener from David Burkamp, that was something to behold, wasn't it? Really, really good stuff. We're not as good as we think. Go F yourself, mate. Go F yourself. Um, decent performance, we'll say, from David Burkamp. Just that one, their goal was a little bit of a mess, wasn't it? They, our goalkeeper makes his debut. Good to see. How looking at Burkamp the second and Brian Carlos for the England squad. Go on, boys. Can we get a couple more of us in there with uh, Gaz Mosley? Anyway, guys, wait right there. We'll be back for Arsenal at home in the league.
Welcome back, and we have our draw for the fourth round of the Carabao Cup. That's going to be tasty, a way to West Brom, so that's something to look forward to for all the academy kids. But right now, we're worried about Arsenal. We're at home to them in the league. You can see we're third and fourth, uh, early days, of course, but uh, still a very, very important game. Uh, we are the favourites. We're in decent form, as are they. Uh, we, it's a very, very even record that we have with them over the course of the save. Now, Luis Enrique is their manager now. I think it was at Emre before was still the manager. He got sacked. I think that's what happened. Uh, but they're still an adventurous passing team, which is what I think they were before. Now, we've got to remember they have en Endrix here, their rapid, rapid striker. He is the one that we need to look out for because he is a really, really good player. Um, if we look at the analysis report here, please. Game, there we go. This is how we're expecting them to play. Um... Positional heat map there. We can see we might be able to get in behind the fullbacks there. Passing network very much uh, just in the center of, uh, of midfield. And there are the key passes. So let's have a look at the team that we're sending out. I was tempted to go with a DM, but we're at home. You only live once, so let's go for it. So it's Gaz Mosley in goal. It's Nepo, Rodrigo, Forster, and Kosic as the back four. Leroy and Silla. Silla in absolute form. Look at that. Five goals, 8.18 average rating so far this year, this season. Rashid, Pedro, and Marin in behind the new boy up front, Chris Hughes. So there we go, they are lining up as expected. Again, I'm wondering if we should go with the DM, but yeah, like I say, we only live once. We'll go for it and see what happens here. Pick up where you left off. Um, all right, let's go a little bit of passionate. Uh, we're the favorites here. Let's give the fans a performance. Let's go out there. Make sure, uh. All right, let's go calm. Just pick up where you left off last time out. Let's go with some passionate. We have faith. Let's try, try it in reverse. There we go. Let's see what we can do here. They're always a dangerous team, aren't they, in this save so far, Arsenal? Because we beat them in the Champions League last year, but they have knocked us out of that competition before as well. So, yeah, we'll just see what we can do. It's our best team, more or less. <clears throat> I think this is... I think Silla has overtaken Grealish now as the number one in that position. It's bouncing around. We couldn't quite find a way to get that ball in the back of the net. A little bit of scrambles back there for Arsenal, though. A little bit of panic. That's what we like to see. Here we go there. Their goalkeeper... Uh, Sotelo, would I guess you'd pronounce that. Here goes Nepo, brings it down nicely, has a run in there for Silla. What can the great man do? It's uh, Kosic, back for Rashid, back out for Kosic. Can we find Chris Hughes in the middle? Oh, can we have a Chris Hughes, the new boy? First goal. Is it his first goal at Villa Park? Maybe it's not, but a cracking start. We should have scored after a few minutes, and a couple of minutes after that, we've only gone an equal and done the job. We're telling them to concentrate. We don't want to give uh, this goal straight back to him. But nice little interchange there between Rashid and Kosic. And Chris Hughes expertly. What a header that is. Really, really nice stuff into the corner there. 1-0 to the good guys. And we come straight back. I did tell them to concentrate. So hopefully we're going to do that here. Should I have demanded more maybe? Pulisic goes over the top. It's in there. Crotone. Rodrigo hacks it clear. Here goes Rashid. Can we get a second? Rashid. He goes back post. Marin is there. We're queuing up in the middle. Antonio Marin. Oh, it's it had to be a low driven cross. It's still there for Marin. It's hacked clear. And what's happening with his highlight? Leroy picks up the Rodrigo header. Go on, Leroy. Out there for Kosic. Can he get a quality ball in? That's better. Oh, Chris Hughes doubles the goal tally in 30 seconds. Excellent stuff. Get in, Villa. Go on. Five minutes in. We're 2-0 up. And Chris Hughes has himself a double. Let's demand more of that, but it's just relentless pressure, isn't it? And Kosic again, massive hand in that one. Two assists for him. Kosic to Hughes. Let's have more of that, please. Goalkeeper, he's not, you can't really criticize him for missing it from there. It was a really, really close range, well hit shot. We've got to defend their own free kick here, and we've let them straight back in. Oh, Villa, come on, boys. That's not what we're about. We'll give them another concentrate now, and suddenly from being in a wonderful position, it's a tight game yet again. We just let him go, didn't we? There's nothing Gaz could do about that. He's not getting to that ball. He's come out to put pressure on him. Was he offside? I mean, he wasn't because it wasn't given. No, there's nothing to complain about there. It was just poor. Rashid has picked up a knock. Um, all right, so we're going to have to bring Rodrigo on, switch Marin over to the right. And that's a bit disappointing because we had looked good down the right side. Here goes Alpha Silla. Ball to the back post there for Marin. Oh, what a shot offside! Oh, it was an absolute thunder bastard of a shot from Antonio Marin, and somebody must have been offside in front of the keeper. That's the only thing. Yeah, I mean, we've got three guys there. Oh, look at the bend on that as well. It was a wonderful shot from Marin, and that's really lucky. Look at the little cluster of goals there. 
come on, boys. We don't. I don't know if we won the header or not, but it didn't end up with us. The second ball was at Arsenal. Oh, it's 2 2. What are we doing defensively, boys? It's a stunning game. <laughs> 12 minutes in, that's, there's been four goals. But come on, boys. Come on. I think Hendricks won the header. And we've just. Is it Kosic at the back post? Just clocked off. And again, it's it's close enough that there's not much Gaz can do. He couldn't have got the cross, and there's not much he can do about the header either. And it's we've thrown away our wonderful start. Come on, boys, don't don't do this again. Marin's there; he can't quite get it. Oh, we can't quite get it again, boys. Come on. We're not, are we? We're not. We're surely, surely not. Pull a stitch and FO will get that. He clears it. It just clears it straight to Bellerin. Ball comes back in. Kosic again. Oh. I tell you what. We've gone from being in a wonderful place to being looking quite ropey at the back. What is going on here? Come on, away. Oh, that's straight at Gaz. It would have been offside, surely, anyway. Now, that is not the highlight, I would assume. Rodrigo, that's a good pass there for Rodrigo, for his namesake. Different spelling, same name. There's a pass for Marin. What can Marin do? Goes for Kosic on the overlap again. Kosic, good ball. Chris Hughes. Oh, it's too far out that time. Almost the third time a Kosic uh, Hughes link up there. And is this highlight continuing? It is. Oh, it's becoming long and scrappy. Rodrigo wins the ball. Can we get to the second one? We can just about. Silla has it. What's Alpha going to do? It's a good ball for Marin. Go on, Marin. Go on, Marin. Pulls it back. Chris Hughes, 3 0 or 3 2, I should say. 3 0 is what it should have been. But Chris Hughes, a hat trick at Villa Park. He introduces himself finally to the fans as the player we know and thought he was. Let's demand more. And Kosic, yet again. Though it wasn't really Kosic that time, was it? But it was down that right side. And Marin, what a pass that is. Just pulled it back into his pass. Into his path. Pass into his path. I'm too excited to have words that sound that similar. It is 3-2. And here goes Marin from the set piece. Antonio Marin, no. Just didn't quite have the bend on that one. Oh, it's a stunning game, isn't it? It's a really, really good game of football, this one. Come on. Here we go again. Can we get a fourth? Kosic throws it in. Silla is there. Gets it back for Leroy. Leroy, can he find space for a shot? It's tackled away. Nepo's there. Back for Silla. Back for Leroy, recovering to his feet. It's 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 it's, it's, it's uh, Rodrigo. Oh, <laughs> what a goal from Rodrigo! We are looking free scoring right now. We are looking really really good. We'll give him some praise for that. We were just just tempting Arsenal back in, weren't we? Just tempting them back in. Leroy found Rodrigo. It looked like there was nothing on here. He just wanders across the penalty area and have some of that. Finds the space and the goalkeeper got nowhere near it. Absolutely nowhere near it. It is four to two. What a half of football and what a performance so far. Not defensively, but certainly going forward. What a performance from Villa. Ball forward. Can we get to that? We should do. Nepo heads it down. Can Silla get off? Silla. There's three Sillas on the pitch. Surely. Alpha Silla. Here he goes again. What a pass. Chris Hughes. Oh, he's got four goals and a half. What is happening? Fifth goal of the, of the season for Chris Hughes. Fourth of the game. It's 5-2. It's not even half time yet. And we are ripping Arsenal to shreds. Ripping them to shreds. Alpha Silla again at the heart of the move. And what a pass this was for Chris Hughes. Runs onto it. One touch. I didn't even need a touch. He just hit it first time. Goalkeeper maybe sold himself a little bit short there. It's 5-2 and Chris Hughes has four of them. What a way to introduce yourself at Villa Park. I think he maybe has played at Villa Park before because I think he got his first goal at this end from a corner at Villa Park if I remember correctly. Let's concentrate defensively here though boys. It's bounced. It's a little bit unlucky. It's off the post. That is a little bit more lucky. Gaz just about does enough there and coming into the break Let's just see this out, please, boys. We've had seven shots on target, five of them in the back of the net. We've been absolutely ruthless. And Chris Hughes, what a game from him so far. Um, all right, so we've got to just, it's got to just be an assertive, do not get complacent here, boys. We've seen what can happen if that uh, if that goes wrong. We're going to have to tell Mara to watch his step. Uh, but he is looking, he's, yeah, hasn't reacted well. I do wonder, we have Grealish on the bench. We could put Silla out on the right and put Grealish in, or we could even put Grealish out on the right, potentially. Um, yeah, we're going to tell Pedro Enrique he's not having his best game. We haven't really seen him. In a game where we've scored uh, five goals, you'd like to see something from your attacking midfielder, wouldn't you? 
Uh, but to be fair to him, I mean, Silla's just running the show in there. So maybe it is a little bit harsh. We've absolutely destroyed them, though, haven't we? Let's demand a little bit more here, and then we'll throw some praise out. We've got a complacent-looking Pedro Enrique. Um, here we go. It's an attacking throw towards the halt. Here we go, Kosic. Can he get a third assist? He's back for Alpha Silla, in for Pedro Enrique. Can we see something from him now? Oh, hey! Yes, we can! It's too easy. It's 6-2 against fourth in the league, Arsenal. And when we're good... We're really, really good, aren't we? We've seen in that first half, though, we can be quite ropey at the back. It's, it's, well, we can be awful. But it's like it's the, it's the Rodrigo goal also on the other side, isn't it? It's not the best goalkeeping we'll ever see either, but we've already... I mean, he's just, he's just battle-weary at this point, isn't he? Um, all right, let's take that Marin booking off the field. Let's bring Grealish on for him. Um, and we'll, we'll, we'll make the change for Alpha Silla. Get him going. I mean, there's we've had a lot of luck uh, down their right side, haven't we? So it might be a good chance just to, you know, let Alpha Silla run at their weak point. Rodrigo back for Gaz for Forster. Look at this, passing it out from the back. Not the best from Forster, though. Let us let us down a little bit there. Pull a stitch. Can we win that? Nepo's going with him. It's back. Oh, the sub almost, I thought, was going in. It was a decent effort, though, wasn't it? Let's give them some praise. We've absolutely destroyed Arsenal here. This is just... Amazing, amazing, amazing. Come on, boys. Let's Can we get a seventh? Seventh heaven. We haven't even been attacking them. Let's go for it. Come on, boys. Let's get this seventh goal. Ken, uh, now, Chris Hughes, if he was to get a fifth, he's there for it. No, that would be a record because I just happened to be looking at club records the other day. And uh, since we've taken over, the record was four, but Kenny Abraham got four in the championship against somebody. Um, so a, a fifth goal for Hughes would have been a record, but I tell you what... It was a relatively even game. We were just absolutely ruthless. Absolutely ruthless. I tell you, and I tell you another thing, it's going to have to be a don't get complacent because that was really good. We can't do that. Assume we're going to do that every week. I mean, hopefully we can do that every week, but we certainly can't assume that we are going to do that every week. Uh, Chris Hughes, absolutely amazing. It's just a couple of days there for Rashid. That's fine. 50 uh, games for Forster, so that's a, that's a chunk paid out. What a game he had in front of goal. We certainly know we've, what we've signed now, don't we? That was really, really good. Uh, Chelsea, he's not going anywhere, mate. Uh, they're looking to get Rodrigo. They're not getting Rodrigo. Both our central defenders, though, wanted, which is flattering, but maybe not ideal. Uh, anyway, so that's it for today, though, guys. If you have enjoyed that, and that is nine Villa goals, you've got to love that. Make sure you hit thumbs up. And, of course, if you are new to the channel, uh, please do subscribe. And, of course, don't forget to ring the bell if you want to know when I upload new episodes. And we'll be back next time. I'm really tempted to come back for Liverpool because they're undefeated. But if we do that, yeah, I think that's what we'll do. I, I don't want the season to drag on too long. But it seems like we have, you know, there's a lot of big games early on here. But the league is is not really that important as of yet. So I think what we'll do is we'll do Atletico Madrid uh, next time. We'll skip over Leicester and then we'll come back for the West Brom game. And that means we can do Atletico Madrid again because that's I think that's going to decide top of the group, to be honest. Uh, and then we can do Manchester United away as well. So that's all for next time, guys. Until then, open Aussie Villain. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.